Duncan Hunter, and I'm going to give you a quick review of the uh, new uh, Star Trek Into Darkness trailer that was just released during the uh, screening of uh, Oz the Green Powerful. Um, I thought it was a very action-y-esque trailer, and it showed a little bit more of what we're, what's going to come. And I uh, recently watched uh, Spotlight on IGN, or a podcast as you might say it, where they were talking about spoilers within the first 28 minutes of the movie. It wasn't that very heavy, heavy spoiler-ish. Like, uh, I've always been wanting to know if Khan was actually in the, uh, movie, so I decided to check it out, and it's not really that spoilerish by what it looks. And, um, so far from what I hear, I heard, uh, within the first 20 minutes, Spock is going to be the captain for pretty much the rest of the movie on the Enterprise. And there's a shot of, uh, the Enterprise, uh, falling into Earth on, uh, near, uh, San Francisco Bay. And that's all I might, can pretty much remember, except for the uh, opening and beginning. Well, uh, I can remember the opening and beginning. Sorry, sorry, I said that. So, uh, yeah, um, this trailer showed me a lot of what uh, space action looks like, and uh, it shows me uh, more in depth of the uh, funny scenes, the funny quips between uh, Kirk and um, Spock, and uh, that funny, that one funny scene where they're still in the beginning of the movie, where they're. Uh, where they're underwater in the, on the planet Nibiru, and uh, Scotty is looking at this uh, huge-ass fish, and uh, he's just got this look on my, his face that it's it's very hilarious. Yeah, it's very funny, yeah. And uh, it's a very action-y trailer as well, because you get um, a lot of shots of the Enterprise. You get shot of Kirk jumping in the spacesuit, like trying to save the Enterprise or something like that. From falling into the earth. Um, yeah, very action-y trailer. And um, I agree that this was the best out of all the trailers that we've seen so far. Not a lot of um, John Harrison in this film. Or a ben ha Benedict Cumberbatch, as you Sherlock fans know. But um, we do get a shot of him. And uh, we do get less and less of him. But we do get a shot of him. So, uh, yeah. And the... Um, I can't wait to see what his character is like, how he plays in this movie, and um, I'm really excited to see the dynamic between Benedict and uh, Zachary Quinto when uh, they they face each other on Earth. Like, because I, I hear uh, Zach Spock runs after the um, John Harrison fugitive, and uh, he's trying to um, demolate demolate Starfleet Starfleet into um, new into a war with Starfleet, and um. It's very chilling, like, the scenes that you've already seen of Spock racing after something. What we do know is racing after is John Harrison, because he's the main villain of the uh, story. Supposedly the main villain of the story. I don't know that yet. But, uh, yeah, this trailer was really good. The action was... The action sequences were definitely better than the other two, and um, I'm going to give it nine... Nine starships out of ten. It's the uh, best trailer we've seen so far from what we've seen of the movie. Also, I would recommend uh, checking out the first ten minutes of the uh, mo of the uh, film. If uh, I can find the link, I can provide it to you as well. So, um, yeah, I would give it nine spaceships out of ten. So, uh, I hope you enjoy this uh, quick review of the um, Star Trek trailer that just got released f in the screenings for... Um, Oh, it's great and powerful, and it was released online, so I'll, be, I'll give you a link, too, so I hope you enjoy it. Thanks.